Now, after we have those values of of energy, radius, and and velocity, it may seem to be extremely formidable, but let me tell you, it is not. So, so let me kind of revisit it and and tell you some some shortcuts. So, V n we had seen was equal to Z upon m into e square upon 2 epsilon naught h right now this part the this part that is a constant this is this is h right this is an h this is a constant so why not find it out and just let it be in terms of z and m and if you put those values and try to calculate it comes out to be z upon n into 2.19 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. You understand? So you do not have to bother about all these values. They are calculated and you may kind of, <clears throat> kind of think of it as, as if uh, it is the speed of light was 3 into 10 to the power 8 and, and 100 times less than that would have been 3 into 10 to the power 6 and maybe maybe about 70 percent of that 2.1 right so so you t you if, if you could kind of remember this 2.1 into 10 to the power 6 this remembering is not a problem because remember that it is moving at about 100 the speed of light okay so that is 10 to the power 6 and so just keep this in mind now if someone asks you uh, asks that and, and these hold for mono electronic all mono electronic species Okay, so hydrogen atom itself is mono electronic, but in helium it will hold for He plus. In lithium it will hold for Li2 plus. Okay, and Z, where Z is your atomic number that we know. Okay, that you have to know that Z is the is the atomic number of that species, atomic number of that species, and an N is the is the nth orbit right so we are talking about the orbit so the first in line the the vn can be simplified like that correct the second in line is is rn right <coughs> what is rn now the, the the formula for rn is n square upon z into h square into epsilon naught upon pi e square m correct pi e square m and here too we can calculate all this and leave it for this so it is n square upon z and that multiplied by by this comes out to be 5.26 into 10 to the power minus 11 meters now there's an interesting thing and i'd like you to understand that what happens if if I try to kind of represent it like this this is not a standard unit so another way of doing that is is you write this as n square upon z and and you say that it is 0 0.0526 into 10 to the power minus 9 and that becomes actually n square upon z 0 0.0526 nanometers never forget this okay do not start writing it as meters right an atom is not that big in terms of meters right so it is nanometer so so what happens instead of kind of holding on to onto this you should hold on to on to this so it is rn is equal to so much right <coughs> okay or there was n uh, uh, there was a unit that actually came due to the size of the hydrogen atoms and we have done it in physics so if I could represent it this could become 0.526 into 10 to the power minus 10 after all nanometer is nothing but nanometer is nothing if I if I erase it okay nanometer is nothing but it is this into into 10 to the power minus 9 now if I multiply this by if I divide this by 10 multiply this by 10 then this becomes this 
and 10 to the power minus 10 is given a special name called called angstrom right and it is represented like that it is it is angstrom so one angstrom is nothing but 10 to the power minus 10 meters so so you know once you deal with angstrom your units become become handleable right the numbers are are not kind of 10 to the power minus 9 or 10 to the power minus 10 you have some sense of the number so it is about 0.5 of an angstrom it's not that you can see what an angstrom is but but as long as you know that there is an angstrom i'll be in, in terms of in terms of some number some number natural number some real number around one right so 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 this is how it goes so you instead of instead of concentrating on this if you concentrate on this it is better because if you are here and someone asks you to find the first the radius of the first orbit of hydrogen you just just put n is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 because hydrogen atomic number is 1 they are asking about the first orbit so it just becomes 0.526 angstrom that's all so you do not have to remember anything else similarly here the vn that we left instead of instead of going there okay what you do is 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 you concentrate on this equation right you concentrate on this equation and, and this gives you all all that is to be understood and learned and unless someone is asking and you you in a pen and paper kind of situation to derive things you're good to go with this okay and the third one the the third one was was about the energy and and if you remember if you remember the energy thing was we had we had boiled it down to an electron volt right so so it was actually minus z square upon n square into into m e to the power 4 upon 8 epsilon naught square into into h square okay so so it was that but this too can be boiled down to a very very simple simple equation and that is e n is equal to to nothing minus z square upon n square into 13.6 electron volt never forget this unit okay <clears throat> otherwise it will hurt you real bad in some examination so so it is electron volt right and we know that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so these are the three equations you should hold with yourself right and you're good to go any mono electronic species can be dealt with this fine so so let us try to do a question so so we try to to solve this let, calculate the energy associated with the first orbit of of hydrogen of, of helium plus now helium plus is a mono electronic species and had it not been the case you would not have been able to tackle with with this classical physics approach that we did right then you would have to go to quantum mechanics even if there is only one more electron to it that means had you been trying to analyze helium atom with this you would have miserably failed okay so so what what do we try to say is is we know energy associated with this we have we have just done that right so just go back refer to it is minus z square upon n square into 13.6 ev so so en en so the first thing is en is equal to minus z square upon n square 13.6 ev now what is my z z is equal to 2 and what is my n they, they say it is the first orbit right okay why is z z2 because because the atomic number of helium is 2 okay so and n is equal to 1 so just put it here so it becomes minus 4 times 13.13.6 13 ev and that becomes nothing but minus 54.4 ev right get the point do we understand so it's not as formidable as it seems 
fine and let us try to find out the the radius of the orbit so so the radius of the orbit is is kind of the radius of the orbit also we had seen correct so what was the radius of the orbit radius of the orbit was was n square upon z into 0 0.0526 nanometer right so so radius or n is equal to n square upon z into 0 0.0526 nanometers now z is equal to again 2 n is equal to 1 so this actually becomes 0 0.0526 divided by 2 nanometers and, and that is equal to 0 0.026 three nanometers if someone wanted me to convert it into angstrom and I would love to do that it's it's a it's, it's a unit that's pretty pretty good I, I like this unit okay so so it is equal to 0.263 angstrom and also the way it is written right you put a put a circle over or capital A, right? And strong. So it's 0.263 and strong. It's half the radius of a hydrogen atom, right? The size of the atom is half, and that will be the size of the atom, right? That, that's the of of not the atom of the ion, right? Of the helium ion. That's the size because it has only one electron. It's in the in n equal to one, and you have told me the distance of that from the center. So that is the size of so, so this is the size of helium, size of helium plus, right? We can Google search that and let us let's check whether it whether it is correct, right? So, so, so let let's do a search. Let's do a Google search and and find out. I'll I'll, I'll quickly type the the size of size of helium helium ion right ionic size of helium it is it is 140 picometers right that is the that is the that is the no I'm, I'm not interested in the atomic radius right this is the atomic radius okay this is the atomic radius I I want the atomic radius is how much No, it's not here. Perhaps they are trying to define what an atomic radius is, right? I don't want that. I want the size of bore radius of helium ion. Maybe then give it. So what is it? No, they have calculated it by by the by the by the same formula. No, I don't want that. What is it actually? What is the measured value of it? Right? The ionic radius of helium is the ionic radius of helium is what? They have not given it. What is that? This? Does this? I don't know what this is. I have to sign up to see more what no I don't want this I don't want to sign in okay I wanted to see the value of the atomic radius the measured value 
Okay, atomic radius and mass Coulomb. Atomic radius is 31 picometers. Picometers is is, is so it is 0 0.311 angstrom, right? No measured values of of that. Okay. Okay. So what does it come out to be? No. Not given? So, so uh, we'll try to find this out because otherwise why you're not getting it easily on the net because helium is an extremely stable atom and does not have any tendency to form an HE plus. Okay, so and even if it does that maybe within a fraction of a second it will come, come back to where it is, maybe captured from some electron from somewhere. So, but but it, if at all it exists for even, even small amount of time, you'll find this radius to be 0.263 and strong. Right?